I think I should be able to quit dating if I want to, right? I feel like dating is the only hobby you can have that other people won't let you quit, even if you're bad at it, right? And I'm bad at dating. I should be able to quit if I want to. I quit everything else that I'm bad at. I figured out a life without math for the, for the most part. I quit basketball when I was 11 because as you might imagine, oregano girl was not very good at basketball. <laughs> Movement and teamwork, not really her forte. I was on a team, there were six of us on the team and my team nickname was Six. <laughs> Even I can do the math on that one. It means I was the worst. You know how in kids sports, everyone gets a trophy? Everyone gets a trophy and they always give the worst player the same trophy. They give them the trophy for most improved. <laughs> the year that I played basketball, no one got that trophy. <laughs> they were like, we cannot in good conscience <laughs> imply that improvement has taken place here. It would be unethical. <laughs> they made up a new kind of trophy to give me. They gave me the trophy for most dramatic shot. <laughs> Commemorating the one underhanded basket I made all season by accident. And then all the other times that I cried. I think what I'm trying to say is when I quit basketball, no one had a problem with it. They were like, yeah, we saw those air balls. Get on out of here. It's time for you to try poetry. No one is coming up to me now being like, don't give up, have you tried online basketball? <laughs> Maybe you haven't met the right hoop. <laughs> the counter argument people make a lot is like, well, what about sex, right? You don't have as much sex when you're single. And that's true, but stay in a relationship long enough. <laughs> you'll stop having sex also. I at least don't know how my night's gonna end, right? I could end up in a three-way with some Swedish dudes. I don't know. You guys know you're not gonna have sex because it's not Wednesday. Unless you're gonna go home and have sex just to spite me, in which case, you are welcome. I might have less sex as a single person, but I do think it's a better story when I do, right? Like it might only happen once a year, but it's a better story <laughs> when I do. A lot of weird shit has to come together for me to have sex. <laughs> People want to hear about it. People want to hear about the 22 year old I took a shower with in Montreal. Yeah, that's a good story. No one wants to hear the I fucked my husband story. <laughs> that is a sad, boring story. And it ends the same way every time with you two being doomed to each other, best case scenario. The only time I ever want to hear a married friend's sex story is if they did anal for the first time. And even then it's just like a thumbs up, thumbs down, no details kind of thing. <laughs> 